This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. Gaumont British News brings you a second instalment of the greatest floods in America's memory. The cataclysm that changed nearly a million citizens into homeless wanderers. In Cincinnati, the waters are falling, but still the rescue work goes on. Men, women and children, not forgetting the household pets, all need a helping hand. Here is the present theatre of disaster. From Pittsburgh to Cairo, the shaded area shows the extent of the flooded region, covering 15,000 square miles. Sweeping on remorselessly, Ohio River left an unparalleled path of destruction. Portsmouth from the air. Never did any watcher from the skies gaze down upon such scenes as these. Widespread desolation, a complete train marooned. At Cairo, there was a battle of levee against river. Volunteers worked desperately to build a 63-foot barrier against the meeting of Mississippi and Ohio. Where there is so much water, it seems ironical that refugees must queue up for drink and boil the spring water against the dread of typhoid. Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and Evansville, Indiana, here there was no abatement of the flood when these pictures were taken. Even houses were being swept away. So critical was the situation in the river's path that plans were drawn up for moving half a million people to New Orleans a thousand miles away. Radio announcers stood by their posts. Water coming into the city. Please evacuate. Do so immediately. Hardest hit of all was that famous city of the South, Louisville. Quarter of a million homeless, many hundreds dead. But there is a ray of hope. Authorities say that the worst is over.